Since the dawn of human civilization, the value, intellect and expanse of an era have always been keenly measured and deeply embedded in one tiny object, its currency. Coins act as slivers of history through which we can glimpse the lives of people from a different time and space. They hold clues to our own place in the evolution of society, culture and commerce. Coins constitute a uh, primary evidence of Indian history and most of what we know or what we can know about uh, Indian history, particularly of the pre-Gupta period, is essentially through coins. This collection is extremely significant in as much as it covers a vast array of uh, ancient Indian coinages. And I truly think, or I dare to say, nothing like this exists uh, in private hands. A collection of this sort has, has been, has been pro probably never built before. The collection is particularly strong in certain fields. Of course, it covers various areas, but, but um, it is uh, strongest in the respects of uh, the most ancient of Indian coins, what uh, historians and numismatists regard as the punch mark coins. Um, and then there are certain areas which are more significant um, than the others, such as uh, the area covering the ancient region of Malwa, uh, the Deccan and, uh, most significantly, the coins of the Satavahanas. The Satavahanas ruled South India for nearly four centuries, from 150 BC to 200 AD. They valiantly fought off foreign invaders, promoted local commerce and were connoisseurs of art and culture. They built some of the first Buddhist temples of South India, most significantly they were the first native Indian rulers to introduce their own indigenous coinage. Uh, each of these coins must have represented value. And what fascinated me was, you know, to see what would this coin buy? What would this coin be useful for? Uh, what was the medium of exchange? What was the discussion and the dialogue that happened when each of these coins passed hands? Would this coin buy a bag of rice? Would this coin buy some jewelry? The significance of the Satavahana dynasty would still be a puzzle if not for the contributions of one English photographer with a passion for ancient Indian art and priceless antiquities. Lance was a wonderful character. I mean, I knew him for about seven years. And in that period, what fascinated me specifically about Lance was this wonderful collection of ancient India coins, which he had built over the last 60 years not only for its historicity, but it's his special interest in their aesthetics. The design, the motifs, the copper coins, the silver coins, the, the, the locational issues, the metallurgical issues. I mean, he had a perspective on just about everything with those coins. Lanstein's collection consists of over 35,000 coins from 600 BC to 600 AD. It also includes a very rare collection of bronze figurines, wooden and stone sculptures, documents on the collection, and a unique photo archival compilation. We worked across the board with historians, globally renowned numismatists, to validate, authenticate, and document the wonderful stories that these unique treasures tell us. The Hinduja group has always been committed to promoting multicultural understanding across multiple geographies because we believe no one culture is superior to another. Therefore, Hinduja Foundation has undertaken numerous heritage initiatives across the globe. For example, it has established Dharam Hinduja Indic Research Centers at Cambridge and Columbia Universities. In London, we restored the heritage grade one structure like Carlton House Terrace. And now, Winston Churchill's old war office would be restored and preserved for posterity. When Lance Dane met us and bequeathed his priceless collection, his last wish was that his entire collection should be made available to public and for research and study. Hinduja Foundation is committed to protect, preserve and display this collection of a remarkable connoisseur. 
it is an honor and privilege to present to one and all the first of the Hinduja Foundation antiquity collection called the Lansdane Bequest. <laughs>